That right there is disrespect on so many levels, and I'm about to show y'all right now. It's disturbing, though, bro. It's frustrating, and it's sad. You are listening to men who have no authority. How can a man say that you are of low value after 35? How can a man say that you do not have the level of traction of a high-powered man when that man has got to get a GoFundMe for his funeral? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You, you got to be in that place where you operate in the authority of God. Look at the, another sister around and tell him, it's not that I hate men. Come on, look at another sister and say, yeah, I do not hate men. I just despise weak men. I despise cowardice men. I just ain't got time for men who are insecure about my gift. I'm not going to dummy down because of what God got me. I don't have to lower my standard. That man got to step all the way up to deal with a queen on my level. The first thing I want to say before I continue with this video is I do not know if he was specifically talking about Kevin Samuels because he never name dropped. He never said Kevin Samuels name. But if he was, this is what I would like to say to it or say about it. All right, let's keep it a being. So when I first looked at this video, I was very frustrated, angry, all type of emotions and things like that. Right. But I looked at the video a few times. And I was able to logically separate my emotions because men can do that. We can separate our emotions from our logic. We have the ability to do that. I'm separating my, my emotions from logic so I can logically assess what the heck just happened. Now, number one, before I say anything else, I have to say this. That was that was utterly disrespectful, throwing shade at somebody that's not even around to defend themselves. Talking about he got to start a GoFundMe and stuff like that. Who even knows that that's true? And if it is true, okay. The guy made millions of dollars. He wasn't poor. So that's that's disrespectful. You, you you just don't do stuff like that. Number two, he's talking to a predominantly women audience, which is usually most churches and most churches with predominant female audiences usually usually are single women, single older women. And as you can look into the crowd, most of the women were single. So instead of being a pastor and preaching a good word about God, because I'm a Christian, too, I'm a man of God myself. Instead of being a pastor and talking about God, you're going to talk from the pulpit. You're going to you're going to talk about one of God's children. And some of y'all might not like the fact that I said that Kevin Samuels was one of God's children. But Kevin Samuels was one of God's children. God loved him. God loved him. So it's never okay to disrespect another individual from the pulpit. Disagree? Maybe not on the pulpit. Maybe somewhere else. Okay? But he disrespected him by throwing shade. And y'all know how he threw shade with the whole GoFundMe thing. Now, although I do agree with building women up and encouraging women, because that's what I feel like men should do. Usually the husband should be doing that for his wife. He should be building his woman up, encouraging his woman. He should be the leader of the household. Although I do believe that. And also, I believe that men should be built up too. Men should, men should have mentors and things like that that show them the way. I do understand that women have value and men have value. And who are the easiest people to manipulate about their value? People who don't truly know their value in the socioeconomic world. Now, when you talk about God, the way that God values you, God loves all people and values all people the same based on what we've been taught and based on what we know. But people aren't the same way. And that's what Kevin Samuels was trying to tell people. People aren't the same way, like how God is. God loves everybody and values everybody the same way. People won't love you the same across the board and value you the same across the board. That's how God is. So the pastor is mixing messages. He's trying to say, oh, you guys have value. You guys have value. You can get the greatest man you want. That, 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 that's, not, that's not what Kevin Samuel was trying to say. Kevin Samuel wasn't, wasn't devaluing those females as saying they don't have no value. He was saying in the socioeconomic world, if you want a high value man, you don't measure up in the socioeconomic world. He was not talking about the person's value as a person. And I feel like the pastor is intentionally mixing mix messages because he has a predominantly female female audience and he knows that he's trying to make them feel good and i'm just gonna be straight up that pastor at least in that particular message was no different than Derek jackson what was there why do people get so frustrated with Derek jackson because Derek jackson used to uplift uplift women at the expense of men he's talking about how trash men were and uplift women that pastor is telling females that Kevin Samuels was wrong for telling average women that they can't get a high value man. And that he's saying that pastor saying to them that you all are queens and you shouldn't accept nothing less. And although I do believe that we as people should know our value and not accept anything less, 
again, there's a certain value on the socio and economic scale that everybody has or does not have in this society. For men, women value dues based upon their status and position and money that they have in life. As men, we value women based upon their beauty and their ability to have fertility and them being kind and, 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 and caring and all those other feminine qualities. Most of those women were older and single. Kevin Samuels was doing nothing but presenting facts to delusional women who thought that they deserved an alpha, high value man. Mind you, these females called him. Kevin Samuels didn't go around trolling. He didn't go around calling people on their live trolling. They called him. The women who called him called him for advice. Many women thanked Kevin Samuels. As a man of God and a Christian who I always try to make sure I respect God, it's always sad when you recognize that somebody is in a position of influence. That as a man of God, delivering the message of God, but they're not really even talking about love and forgiveness and joy and, and all the things that God would most likely want us to talk about. That pastor's advice to the women is going to make the women feel good, which you could tell it did, but it's not going to give them the results that they want, which is they want to be married. They want to be with a man that values them. They want to be with a high value man. Most likely not going to happen. Most of those women were 40 and up. Anyway, uh, God bless that pastor. I pray that that wasn't, you know, I pray, that wasn't right. I pray that he's blessed. And God bless y'all for, you know, everybody that, you know, likes my content and stuff. Yeah.